hello to everyone so here we are again I want to share with you some items that I got sorry about that I had to run out to get some quarters so I got some items um, when I got my quarters I'm gonna share those with you no Bath and Body Works today I haven't been there I also got a package I don't know if these are my Moju London plates or not but I'm saying all this because I'm gonna sit my phone down y'all know that I do my phone tabletop and share with you some of the items that I got um, and it's not much, just some of the stuff you expect from me, but just my little grocery snack little thing. So we'll see. I even got some mail. I got this beautiful card from my friend's mom. Um, she was one of the ones that I made those boxes for when I made those special boxes that I showed on here that I made for her and my cousin. So that was very sweet. I'm very glad that that was helpful. A lot of people have asked me about that and some have said I inspired them to do that. So I'm gonna see if I can show you stuff and maybe leave my phone up here. But if there's any jarring or anything like that, I'm gonna take it down and put it on the table. So I'm gonna pause for a minute and put everything over here and we'll find out too what's in here because apparently I also want a giveaway that I wasn't expecting to win. Um, and I missed the time frame to respond, but they sent me something anyway, which was very sweet. I think it was Judinka Nail Art. So I don't know if this is that package or not, because usually when it is MoU London, it'll say so. Whether it is the American MoU London or the UK MoU London that I order from. But then you never know because they um, use different companies. So this could be them or it could be Judinka. We will see. So the biggest thing that I have, and I apologize for sharing this, but I went ahead and got my Charmin with aloe. I had said that I don't think this says that anymore, but this was always Charmin with aloe in it. And it had the green label, and I don't know if they took it out or not. I've been trying to read it to see. I think I tried to read it on here one time. It basically now just says ultra gentle. I prefer this one. And the blue one, I'm not too crazy about the red one. I might try a small package of it again to see. But this doesn't have aloe on it anywhere. But this used to always be the Charmin with aloe. And it was a softer tissue, even though their tissue is soft to begin with. And as you can see, I'm still looking on here. <laughs> so I guess it's no longer on there. But aloe is supposed to be gentle. And I don't know if anyone could have allergies to aloe. I guess we could have allergies to everything. So we'll put this down and we'll pick up the next thing. I keep forgetting to put my phone on, what's that mode, airplane mode, so this might get interrupted. I got my cherry coke, of course, and then I had been saying that I was going to get some of those new waters, and I got the Pellegrino one here. Um, this is the um Asenza waters and I got the one that is dark morello cherry and pomegranate these were like 4.69 here there is a carbonated water I want to try but these are the ones that they've had that commercial with I have said before that I like carbonated water period I've liked it for years I started off with Perrier lime and plain their berry one tastes like dishwater to me. I haven't tasted it since I was like 19. That was when I decided it had a funny taste. It tasted like dishwater. Maybe it was just me. If I see a single can of it out, I might try it again. But it really, it was like somebody put dish, dish liquid in my water. I don't like that berry one. But I do like other ones. Um... I like the LaCroix brand a lot. I love the blue cans. Their plain cans are now blue. They used to be the color of the ones in the coconut water, but I went ahead and got these, and I think you might get, is it six? It says eight. There are eight cans, and they are 11.15 ounces, 330 milliliters, so they are the San Pellegrino Ascenza water, so I figured I'd go ahead and try these because these are what I wanted to go ahead and get. So the next things I got, and I will say this, I spent $52 and got no real food again. I wanted to try this oat of this swirl. This is Ben and Jerry's ice cream. This is buttery brown sugar ice cream with fudge, flakes, and oatmeal cinnamon cookie swirl. So their ice cream that they made that I liked, other than the Chunky Monkey, was always um, the cannoli one. And I wish they would bring that back. That one was delicious. 
And I went ahead and got the Folgers Keurig coffee. These were $8.99. Um, I was looking at some that were $5.99 and I should have got some of those, but I really wanted the morning cup. I am not a coffee drinker. You've heard me say that. This is their mild version. So I do like, it had like a coffee nuttiness to it. Um, and I went ahead and got for that my creme brulee creamer because I needed more cream. Y'all heard me say I love my vanilla as far as plain. And as far as other plain creams, I like this creme brulee and I love the Italian sweet cream. So I was caught between the two because I had too much stuff and I didn't want to be packing two. And y'all have heard me say, if I don't use my creamer up, um, it goes bad really fast. So this one won out. But my standard creamers, um, the newest addition to that is that um, Starbucks um, white chocolate one. I really did like that one. The Italian sweet cream, the vanilla, and the creme brulee as far as my plain creamers. And I really found out that I like the Cheesecake Factory strawberry version of creamer too. But as far as my plain ones, this one, again, the vanilla. And I also love the Irish cream. I love that one, but I don't find it all the time. And I wanted to try this little thing out. This is like a cornbread pie, but it's beef and bean chili. Now, I grew up eating chili in a variety of ways. I have found that I prefer chili the traditional way with crackers, but over the years, if a chili is sweetened um, or sweet tasting with a little cinnamon or sugar, I have found that I like it with cornbread, but traditionally, I've always made my chili with crackers. I eat chili with crackers. Um, the only restaurant chili I think I've eaten besides when we lived in Chicago and went to Chili Max is Wendy's and to me, that's not really a chili. I mean, it is, but it's not. But it's something if you want something in the wintertime. But um, I have had chili. I grew up eating crackers, and I feel like it's a preference. Some people like cornbread. Some people like crackers. But I grew up in a household where the chili was made with elbow macaroni. Some people have beans in their chili. Some people have all of that. Some people make their chili thick and hearty. Some make it, you know, a little bit thinner like a soup. So I like different varieties of chili, but my traditional chili is the chili with beans, the chili con carne with the meat. Um, even though I grew up with elbow macaroni in the chili, I don't really put it in there, but I will make it on the side for people that like it that way. But I just wanted to try this when I seen it. And they sold out of it, so it wasn't on sale when they sold out of it. So I don't know if it's really good or somebody just bought a lot of it for something. Because sometimes some of the shelters shop in the grocery store and they buy things in bulk or people that buy for people buy things in bulk. So these little things ended up being a dollar. And this is the little chicken cordon bleu and the little buffalo style chicken. And I'm guessing it is stuffed with either cheese or um, something. It didn't say. But these are little cute things that I have when I just want to make a quick lunch. I'll throw something like this together with a little flavored rice or some noodles or something like that. So that's all this in that bag. So now we're going to share with you what's in this bag. Ah, Y'all know what's in this bag. I wanted my Pringles. I got my Pringles. I got seven cans of them. I left four of them there. Okay. Here's the funny story about my Pringles. And y'all done already heard this. Mrs. Madam, um, CJ, I think it is, had suggested that I should get a case so I get tired of them. And I sent her a little message back and it was so funny because I said, I don't, I don't, I don't think I will. It's like the more of these things I get, the more I want to eat. And the odd thing is, is like I said, I have been buying these off and on. In fact, they used to be called a fourth reduced fat. And y'all have already heard the story that I said that they were very close to the red can. The only difference was they had a fourth reduced fat, you know, somewhere along the bottom. You had to look for it to know. Well, I had been picking up, you know, that chip for the longest, not the regular red ones. So when I got my hands on the regular red ones again, it was like a grease chip, you know, because I had gotten used to the lighter ones. And that's when I realized what I was buying. Well, then for a while, they had the third reduced fat and the fat free. And by this time, I had told my friend Stephanie in Pittsburgh about them. And I said, make sure you get the, you know, reduced fat and not the fat free because there is a difference in the taste. Okay. So she got those. She loved them too. Well, then over the years, they turned into reduced fat, a third less fat, but they were the same chip as the fourth less fat. I don't know what the difference was, but these were just... They were light. They had the flavor, you know, and when I was a kid, I loved Pringles in the red can. It was just when I started eating these by accident, 
my taste developed towards these. And the funny thing was, though, even though I would buy them then, I'd buy two or three cans, I'd eat them. I didn't think no more about them. I'd buy them again. But here lately, it's like I am obsessed with these chips. The more that I eat, the more that I want. If I thought that they would let me buy a case, and they would probably charge me um, the $1.79, because these are either $1.79 here, or they are three for four dollars or something like that. So today, guys, I paid twelve dollars and eighty something cents for these chips. All seven cans. I don't even care because I'm okay now. The problem is I would eat one of these a day. Now the seventh can today was so that I could eat it. You know what I mean? But I had so much stuff I didn't do that. But I wanted to make sure that I got my Pringles. So I should be all right, at least for this week. And who's to say tomorrow is my payday? I might go back and get them other four cans. So I don't know what my problem is. So we're going to get into this and see where this package is from. Because I think I ordered five plates from OU London. So let me see. I can't tell. So this is, I believe, yes, my MoU London order. And I do have five plates here. And I know that my phone isn't going to show these very well. Um... And that's what it was. I think I left a comment on Miss Chudinka's. The giveaway said enter me because I know whenever I do a giveaway, I have people to put enter me. And usually if I don't say enter me, I'm not entering. But I was chosen as one of her winners. So next time I'll be more careful. But this right here is my MoU London order. And I'm guessing that these right here, I ordered some Valentine plates and they are coming in this packaging. And I'm so sorry that you might not be able to see that too clear. But I will take pictures of these and try to hold it to where you can see it. And maybe, hopefully, if your camera's better than mine, you can zoom in. Because I know that I got this plate for something on here in particular. I think it was the writing on here. Because sometimes it'll be, you know, a few things. But I can't tell what this says. Let me see. Okay, it just says lovely, lovely. So I got it for that. And like these things right here can be under, like under pieces of under what you're stamping. What I'm trying to say is like I'll stamp something there in one color and then stamp something else. So that was one of the plates. So I had forgot exactly what it was that I had ordered. Okay, this is another one. And I know that I got this one for all that writing down there at the bottom. And this little, this whole section down here. So again, I'm sorry if you can't see that too clearly. But MoU London is a wonderful company. I started ordering from the MoU London that was in um, the UK. Their plate said $4.99, but their price equivalent was the same as ours. Anytime I would order a $4.99 plate, I knew that I needed $10 per plate. So... The one time I ordered 12 of them, I had $125, and it, it ended up being that. Now, this one right here I got, y'all see, because of that check pattern. It's sort of like the gingham pattern. It's a little bit closer to gingham than the one that I had, and that's why I got that one. But as you can also see, this particular plate, and this is one of the kawaii plates, there is a slice of pizza on here. I believe there's a hot dog on here. Um... The little watermelon seeds are on here. So I will definitely take photos of these and put them on my Instagram. Because I got two love plates, two kawaii, and then a pro. And I had forgot that. And I like these striped plates right here. When you can do, because you can either like, you can like stamp and put clear polish on there and pick it up and fill it in. I haven't done any of that, but that is stuff that you can do. That's what a lot of the advanced stampers do. And I think, what did I get this particular plate for? I think just the little things on here. Because I honestly don't remember ordering this one. So it had to have been these stripes. And I know something up in these little spots because there's a paw there. And I remember thinking I wasn't too crazy about the paw, but I was crazy about other things up in there. And here I'm lucky nothing has come through my phone yet. So this last one is a pro plate. And this one is an old school plate that has been around for a while. I just didn't want to miss out on it. A lot of people were doing the looks with the bird on the wire and the writing and they would have like something in the corner i need a super duper pale gray stamping polish and i think what i'm gonna have to do 
is I am going to have to take my gray and dull it down with some white because I like that look where you've got like a turquoise or a light blue and then maybe your words are sort of faded. You got them in light gray and then you've got something like this over that and your little birds on the wire. And then of course I have a lot of plates with this pattern right here on there, the hound's tooth pattern but I can't never have too many of those. So this is an older plate. And this is what they look like on the back. So I need to show you the new ones because I didn't look on the back of them, but they started decorating the back. Some people have said that they are acetone polish resistant and some have said they're not. I don't know. I don't usually test that theory, but guys, that is it. That is all that I got. Spent $52 on I don't know what. But I'm happy as a lark because I got my Pringles. So I will see y'all the next time. Have a great day.